Lesson 1, Bubble Sort. To follow along with this lesson, you will need some basic knowledge of algebra. The bubble sort is the simplest of all sorting routines. In this context, sorting means ordering an array of data elements such as integers. To begin, imagine that we have an array of elements that we wish to sort. We use an empty array here for illustration. The bubble sort algorithm can be described as follows. Compare the first two elements of the array and swap them if they are out of order. Continue doing this up the array for each pair of adjacent elements until we reach the last entry. At this point, the last entry is the largest element in the array. In the bubble sort, we continue this procedure for each next largest element until the array is fully sorted. Now, we'll fill in the array and show the algorithm in action. We begin by comparing the 5 and the 9. Since 5 is less than 9, we do nothing. Then we compare the 9 and the 2. Since 9 is greater than 2, we swap the entries. We continue just as we did before. Notice that the largest number, 9, bubbles up to the end of the array. This is where bubble sort gets its name. Once the 9 reaches the end of the array, we start the next pass and continue through the rest of the algorithm and sort the entire array. The pseudocode for the bubble sort algorithm is very simple. It's just the four lines shown here. Bubble sort is a slow algorithm. To quantify what we mean by that, we calculate the time complexity. Suppose that we have an array of n elements. During the first pass, we perform n-1 comparisons to get the largest element to the end of the array. The next time, we perform n-2 comparisons. Continuing like this, we get the following sum. This is an arithmetic series which sums to n times n-1 divided by 2. Now n times n minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to n squared divided by 2 minus n divided by 2. For large values of n, the n squared term dominates. So we say that the algorithm is big O of n squared. Eventually we will formalize this concept of big O, but for now we'll just leave it at this. This concludes the lesson.